Growing up, I was a big fan of The Andy Griffith Show. One of the things that I loved about the program was its underlying tone of kindness. Sure, the characters had disagreements, and sometimes they even argued and had conflicts. But at the end of the day, or I guess I should say episode, everyone got along. However, behind the scenes in the real world, that was not always the case. Hi folks, my name is Dave Sundstrom, and I'd like to share an incident that occurred during the filming of Mayberry RFD, which shed light on the strained relationship between two beloved actors from The Andy Griffith Show, George Lindsay, known for his role as Goober, and Francis Bavier, famously Aunt B. The incident that I'm going to talk about unfolded during the filming of The Racehorse, an episode in the first season of Mayberry RFD, where Aunt B had a fairly prominent role. Francis would choose to leave the show, by the way, after that first season. Anyway, according to the website Showbiz Cheat Sheet, George Lindsay talked about a particular confrontation that happened on set at the racetrack where his light-hearted banter, peppered with quite a bit of salty language between scenes, was met with stern disapproval by Francis. Her reaction, according to George, involved a severe scolding, which was then followed by an act that really affected him. She whacked him on the head with her umbrella, not once, but twice. As you might guess, George felt a bit embarrassed, sparking long-standing feelings of resentment towards Francis. Ken Berry, who played Sam Jones on the show, also felt that Francis' behavior was a bit uncalled for, adding to the tensions among the cast members. Speaking of Ken, I've got a fun commercial at the end of this video that features one of his unique talents that I think you will all truly enjoy. You know, I really don't blame Francis much. End of the day, she was who she was. She was old school, and her reaction to George's potty mouth stemmed from a deeply seated desire for respect, which was, if you think about it, reflective of her character both on screen and off. You know, old Goob and Aunt B, they may have gotten along swimmingly in Mayberry, but in real life, well, things were a lot more complicated. Despite their on-screen camaraderie, off-screen tensions, well, they left a lasting impact on George's sentiments towards Francis. Goober never forgave Aunt B. Those are George's words, not mine. Truth be told, Francis' impact on The Andy Griffith Show often went unrecognized. I simply can't imagine that program without her. I have to believe that her absence from the opening credits of the first five seasons of The Andy Griffith Show may have contributed to a long-standing feeling that she had that she just wasn't valued as much as some of the other cast members. And yet, her contributions to the show were many. She brought a sense of warmth and home through her character, an embodiment of the very heart of the show. She's the only television character that I can think of who could literally somehow rescue someone with fried chicken. End of the day, she was a comforting presence and was integral to the success of The Andy Griffith Show. Now, her homemade pickles, on the other hand, well, everyone in Mayberry could have lived without those. You know, you can watch The Andy Griffith Show as well as hundreds of other classic television shows on the Friendly TV streaming service, which offers over 40 channels of high-quality entertainment from decades gone by for just a few bucks a month. I truly believe that it is the best streaming value out there. I'll post a link to Friendly in the description section of this video. If you choose to click on it and try the service out, you'll be supporting this channel. So I guess you could say it's a true win-win. Speaking of support, I want to say thank you to all of my channel members who have clicked on that little join button and now have access to exclusive videos and live streams, as well as advanced access to most of my videos before they are published. Their level of support is truly appreciated. And thanks to everyone else. Yes, all of you who have stuck around long enough to watch the entire video. Each one of you are truly appreciated as well. Now, without any further ado, here's Ken. 
Fellow Americans, stop dragging your feet. Wear kitties when you're gonna go out on a date. Look great. But do you know your feet need a little love? Kitty knows. What an agonizing, enterprising, hard kind of day you spend working overtime. You. Live yeah, it small. You. When, when you shop, you need shoes for it all. I say comfort and style. If you're young at heart or young enough to remember, come to Kitty.